Hello, this is Paul Poppin. The other day I was able to find a camera and I thought that it would be a great idea to keep some sort of uh, recording about the people around in Charneris and decided that it would be a logical choice to start with my good friend, John. Um, I'm John. Full name is Jonathan Lawrence Stittle. I was born in Georgia and I'm um, enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps. Um, I was there for almost 20 years, 41 years old. I was sent here to Shinaris on a relief mission with um, providing security security for the um, NATO relief efforts and um, our helicopter was shut down as we were approaching the, the location uh, I was the only survivor in that heli crash um, all hands were lost I made my way uh, to Novi um, after about two weeks lost yeah, about two weeks to get to Novi. Um, there, I I heard the rumors of a really nice person that used to live in Pavlovo. Um, she was probably you guys probably know her. She was known as Baba, old lady. So I decided to go meet her. Um, I make my way all the way to Pavlovo by foot. And upon arriving there, I couldn't find anybody. So I did what I always do: I searched the houses and, you know, look for provisions, food, perhaps a weapon. I had a repeater back then. I managed to to make it into the to the water well where some sets found me. Locked myself up on a on one of those stands that are by the um <clears throat> by the by the water um well and I started shooting zombies from inside. I was running low on ammo when this crazy old lady with a knife starts just killing them. She would sneak up behind them and stab them. Well, Baba welcomed me into her home. She gave me a a place to live built up a door for me right across the street she fed me she healed me she gave me medicine um, basically she set me up to be honest gave me proper weapon and everything we used to travel together we went all the way down to um, Chernogorsk Geno Chernogorsk, yeah that's the name she introduced me to a lot of people but I didn't get to know her for long. Um, she was brutally murdered by somebody. We don't know what it was. Um, and that's how I ended up being the, you know, inheriting her land. Um, and I really don't know what else to say other than, you know, um, I joined the sheriff's office when you know after we got our sheriff at the town sheriff rip showed up one day and told me that he needed a deputy he had to hound me for several days but eventually he accepted and i am where i am now just making sure that everybody in pablo was safe I'm doing my best to keep my head high and afloat and you know everybody provisioned and Whatever else is needed. Well, that's that's pretty much what there is to John. After interviewing the deputy of Pavlovo, it was only natural to also interview the sheriff of Pavlovo. Hello, my name is Sheriff Rip, and I'm the sheriff of Pavlovo. And together, 
we had a good community that we've built together and how I've come to this community and founded help found Pavlovo and build the community is washed up on the shore about three years ago I made my way to Pavlovo and come across a good friend of mine that I like to call and uh, me and Jonathan moved in houses side by side together and uh, along the way we've met some companions and helped grow the community with our mayor catfish at Fall Blovo, our, do our doctor Ellis as well and some more friends and companions along the way so hope everyone would want to come and join our community thank you and that's all I got a little bit earlier during the day I stumbled across one of the new resident of Pavlovo I then decided to give him an interview well my name is Trigger actually my full name is Trigger Gunderson I am from America, so I came across here overseas, but my my family is originally from Norway. I came here because I was a dumb kid. I thought at that point I would see the world, experience everything. You know, maybe, maybe meet some people, maybe start a family. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I was 18 years old. I was going through the motions, and I was being stupid. Halfway through my trip through France, I ran out of money. I didn't have a place to live. I didn't have a cent to my name. I barely even had any stump or food in my stomach to sustain me for a week. I was rock bottom. But I was saved by what was my best friend. He he didn't survive. I lost him about two years, six days, and 30 minutes from now. We survived for a long time. We had the most important thing you can have in the wasteland, each other. But he died saving my life. After that, I was lost. I didn't know what to do. I was going from place to place selling whatever I had on my back, which just happened to be military great weaponry. You could call me a gun runner if you please. I don't know why I sold guns. I don't know even know why I went into military bases. Probably just so I could end my life sooner. Because all I cared about was seeing my best friend again. I don't know. I think I just want to make right by him. He saved my life. So I go through day after day, minute after minute, trying to save another one. Just one more life. That's all it takes. And every time I do, I keep saying to myself, just one more. And from this day forward, I've helped any person I see, whether it be giving them a firearm to help defend themselves against the wild animals, or in this case, people. I've given people food. I've given people homes to live in. I've done whatever I can, but I've never found a place that I want to call my own home. Until I landed in Pavlovo. I've only been there for two days now. I barely even consider myself a resident. I'm basically a basically a freeloader at this point. <laughs> but I really I really like it there. And I'm happy where my life has turned out to be. That's all I gotta say about myself. 
after a long day of traveling and meeting new people, it is now time to go back home. Hopefully I can find another one of those tapes so I can record more people in the future. Until then, stay safe.